guys, we're back. My name is Caitlin and I'm one of the dance teachers at the Green Bay Craft Center. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some more intermediate to advanced stretches for while you are at home. Um, so as you can see, I have with me, I have some foam blocks. I personally just got mine at Target. You can get them at a lot of different places though, probably even off of Amazon, but not too expensive. Um, but otherwise, these are really the only tools I'm going to use today. So let's get started. If you haven't already seen my beginner stretching video, it's just kind of some basic stuff on the floor and we're going to go through all of that today just with a little less description and so that way I can really focus on getting a deeper stretch for those of you who are more experienced or are just really naturally flexible. So we're going to start off with our legs out in a straddle. You can pull yourself forward wherever you need to do to get yourself placed. We're going to reach our arms out and up and over, holding each one of these stretches for about eight to 10 seconds. And then again, on the other side, about eight to 10 seconds, really reaching this bottom arm towards our opposite leg. And then for the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our body towards our leg. And we're gonna think about laying our body as flat as possible on top of our leg and really reaching over it as compared to having like a side twist. So holding that for about eight to 10 seconds, coming up, other side, same thing, reaching forward, about eight to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna reach down towards the middle, holding that down as long as you can. If you're someone that's really flexible in your hip area or just even in your middle splits for whatever various reasons, you can work on reaching your hands out towards both of your feet as you are sliding down. So that way you're working on getting your entire um, torso flat on the floor. So that's something that you can do for that. Then I would normally move on to stretching forward, shake the legs a little bit, grabbing the toes, obviously going as far as you can, trying again to lay your entire torso flat on top of your legs. You can do this with pointed feet or flexed feet. Um, that way you can get different stretches in your legs. I like to do it twice, so I would suggest doing one with pointed toes and then shaking out your legs again and then doing another one with flexed feet. And just for a little extra stretch, when you grab your flexed feet, you can pull them up so that way your heels are coming off of the ground. Then we go into our butterfly stretch. We're going to put our nose down by our toes or thinking about our forehead going down to the floor and you're just going to hold that down for about eight to 10 seconds as well. Nice deep stretch. Then what I tell a lot of my older students to do is something that I like to call up and over. So when we do this, we put our legs out into our straddle and you can either use your hands or you can use no hands to just kind of rock yourself over. But the goal is to get your legs behind you. So I'm gonna turn to the side for this one. So again, our legs are forward, we're reaching out, and then we're going up and over, so we're on our stomach. I'm pregnant right now, so I'm not gonna go on my stomach. Um, but from there, you can do like a cobra stretch and you just stretch out your back, or you can do a frog, which is basically like doing the butterfly, but behind you. So obviously you'd want your stomach all the way on the ground, but that's where your feet placement would be for that. Your goal is to keep your butt and your hips flat on the ground, as well as working on towards getting your feet on the ground. So you don't really want one higher than the other. <laughs> he likes it when I'm on the floor, if you haven't already seen me say that before. <laughs> All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna work on our splits. So in our last video, I showed you guys how to do your basic splits. What I like to do for those who haven't done it before is just go on both knees, Straighten one leg forward, one hand on each side, straighten your legs and go out as far as you can. Now there are some people that are just more naturally flexible or really worked for their flexibility and this isn't enough of a stretch for you. So this is where my blocks come in handy as well as you can do your couch, you can use your bed, anything else that helps you get that stretch. So if you've never used blocks or anything else before, I always suggest you just start out with one because you can always add more. Again, you never want to push your body past what it's used to. 
um, just because you don't want to risk any tears of your muscles or overuse. So we're going to use a block. My cat chewed on it. I'm very sorry. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to do the same kind of setup as we did before. We're going to put our one leg forward, one hand on each side, and you're going to slide out as far as you can. So now you can see my leg is elevated and it will start giving me a deeper stretch through my hamstring. So you can do that for another eight to 10 seconds on both feet. And you just keep going with as many blocks as you have or until you get a deep enough stretch that you are either just slightly off the floor or you can really feel it on your hamstring. Again, there's a line between it stretching and a line between it pulling. You do not want to be pulling your muscles past where they are comfortable. So if it really starts to pain you, please ease up on it a little bit, lift yourself up, hold yourself up, um, or take down the amount of blocks that you're using. So for me, I can usually do about three to four blocks. So I would go here, same type of thing. It's a lot harder when you're up higher, hi. <laughs> and then you just hold it here, again, for about the eight to 10 seconds. Or if you don't have blocks, like I mentioned before, and you have a couch or a bed or just something that's not too, too high, you can use that for the same thing. So you would just put your leg up on top of your couch and you would slide out and use the same type of practice. Again, if you don't have blocks or you feel like your couch or your bed is a little too high, feel free to use your hands to hold yourself up. Just because your front leg is that high does not mean your butt or your hamstrings have to touch the ground. That's just to give you a little bit of a gravity stretch to help you pull down in ways that might be harder to do on your own otherwise. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. My cat decided to start chewing on my phone blocks because he thinks I'm down here on the floor for him, which is not the case. No, I'm very sorry. Okay, so we're going to continue on with our stretches and we're going to work on getting a better stretch through the back of our legs. So we're going to start by standing up and putting our feet just wider or like a wide second um, or putting them wider than our shoulder width. We're going to work on getting our hands down towards the floor. <laughs> and then if you can, you're going to work on getting your head as far down as you can. So once you got your hands, you're going to work down on your head. You're going to work on reaching your elbows onto the floor. If you want to rock yourself side to side or you do plies and then straighten, all of that is really good too and actually helps your back. Right. <laughs> then we're going to continue in. We're going to just kind of bring our feet in to about shoulder width apart and we're going to do the same thing, keeping our hands down, reaching our forehead down, reaching our elbows to the floor. Rocking as needed, doing plies and straighten, plies and straighten. And then you can either bring your feet in or you can kind of bring them in again, depending on where your flexibility level is at. And again, reaching your hands down. And then if that's not enough of a stretch for you, you can grab the back of your legs and pull your head in towards your legs. But there are some stretches for you guys today. I hope you enjoy them. And if there are any other stretches you'd like to see, or if there are stretches for certain spots on your body you would like to learn more about, please feel free to let us know down in the comments or by contacting us through our emails or through our website. See you guys later.